Now the first thing we're going to want to do in order to connect to a domain is we're going to need four packages. Now depending on which version of Linux you're using, the install might be a YAML instead of uh, a GET, but I, for the moment I'm going to use the Ubuntu packages. So sudo and I'm going to use app get install. So this is now the package request. Now what packages am I going to need? I'm going to need an NTP. So I'll put NTP. I'm also going to need the SSSD which stands for System Security Service Daemon. I'm going to need uh, Samba. And last but not least, I'm going to need a Kerberos authentication. So I'm going to need a Kerb5 client. Now you could install each one of these individually, or you can install them, as you can see, in one long uh, request and get all the packages at once. I'm going to do it as one, because it, amongst other things, saves on my length of commands. And I believe I've made a typo. Yes, it's not client, it's user. See, that's a typo. And you can now see here's a list of all the prerequisites that are needed to run these packages. And I'm just going to say, yes, I want those. And Ubuntu is going to go to the repositories in the background, grab them, install them for us and we get part of the configuration. So I'm being asked now for my Kerberos client here. What is the name? So the default Kerberos in this case is going to be our domain. So my domain is called lab.local and that's going to go off and take that information and try to package it with the configuration. Now we're going to do and check the configuration later manually to make sure that that's correct and change it if it's not. But the important thing to remember here is you're going to have uh, lab.local in these videos because that's the name of my local domain that I've created for this test. Um, in your case it could be anything. You know, it's really down to whether you're installing this on a corporate network in your own lab environment, whatever the domain server domain name is. Uh, it could even be a live one. I mean, if you're familiar enough with DNS to be able to customize the, the lookup table, then you're able to use an existing domain. Although I highly recommend just using a, a made up one for the purposes of testing. So you can see now we have finished and we've gone off and we've, we've completed our package installation. So we now have that and we're clear, ready to move on to the next steps.